Welcome back to NC Bassin. I'm Landon Moore, and today we're on Lake Hickory. I'm putting in here at Dusty Ridge. Got the kayak out. I was about to go to High Rock Lake today. The wind's supposed to be real windy, and I know High Rock's probably muddy, but I mean, it's always muddy, but there's a chance to catch big fish there. But exactly four years ago yesterday, I had an amazing day here. There was kind of a herring spawn, shad spawn going on with the fog. And I caught some big ones, and then I was able to have, just catch a bunch of fish that day. Had a great day at Lake Hickory. Only time I've ever did good at Lake Hickory was in May. So I decided to come here. I'm hoping the fish are going to be biting. Plus the wind won't be as bad here as it will be at, at High Rock Lake. A lot of these fish are going to be post-spawn. I might be able to find like an offshore school. I actually got a graph, a decent graph on the kayak. So maybe I can find a school because when these fish first pull off, they group up real tight. And I'm not good at fishing offshore, but you can find them loaded up this time of year. But mainly I'm here to fish topwaters. I hope I catch them on topwaters. I'm really going to try to force a topwater bite. Start off with walking baits early, buzz bait. And even when it gets sunny, you probably a buzz bait, whopper plopper, and definitely a popper when the sun gets real high. There might be a lot of fry garters. A lot of these fish are post spawn, but there's probably some still some fish on beds. That's one of the reasons I went to Lake Hickory too. I'm sure most of them are done at High Rock. It's a little bit colder at Lake Hickory. Might be warm here too. They might be about done here, but I'm, I might be able to find a few on bed hopefully. The baits I use are in the description. Use those links, please. They help me out. Subscribe if you haven't, and let's go catch them. I just put in, I don't know if you guys can see, there's shad spawning on the on the floats on the boat ramp. It might be a great day today, guys. That's a good sign. Shad are spawning on the black floats on the boat ramp. That that's a good sign. Top water, but I mean, it also means the fish have been feeding at nighttime. It could die real quick, but I like to see that shad spawning is fun. Golly, it's got to be a big fish, ain't it? I mean, a skinny one, but a big one on the shower blows. You guys see that hit? Stay hooked. That's why I came here. That's why I came here. Man, he's not that big, but he's a nice one. He is a nice one. God, I should have had my net. He is just in the bottom lip. Yes! That's why I came here, guys. Yes! Blew up on that thing. Shower blows. 135. Or 125. I thank George for giving me a deal on that bait last year. He sold some of his stuff cheap. Ooh, hoo, hoo, look at that fish right there, guys. That's why I came here. Yes. And I will get my net out now because that's just asking for a disaster. 432, guys. It was 440 for a second. Yes. That is a chunk. Meat up fish, definitely postponed. They're eating shad on that shower blows. I forget the color. Thing casts so well. 432 guys get her back almost my biggest fish of the year i caught one biggest fish from a big lake caught a 462 at a small little electric only lake my little secret lake that's the kind of fish i'm looking for here i just heard another that's a it's a big one yes that's big for me i mean Lake Hickory still got a few big ones. The weights just haven't been that great. Spots came in here. There's some big spots caught in here, but it's just been so, like always with these spotted bass fisheries. It seems like there's like a five year adjustment period. These fish gotta get used to. It's like the environment has to balance for a while. God. That was a good fish, too, wasn't it? Bit it small, but I see him back. You see like a solid fish. He didn't hit it hard, but I seen this fish look like a decent sized fish. I 
Oh, he's got it. There we go. Camera was already going, guys. I'm hitting it the wrong way, but he missed the shower blows. I threw back in there with a the wacky worm, shad colored one, and got him. It's a little skinny spot. Spot. It's like 50 50 spots in largemouth in this lake now. Golly. Got that one hooked funny. Oh, and I lost him. God dang it. Couldn't catch up with him. God, that was a big spot it looked like. I <sighs> can't let him jump. He was stripping drag. My drag's almost... My drag is way up, guys. I mean... Three pound spot it looked like. Go. Of course, I can hook this one good. This got I got smashed a minute ago, but it seemed like a small guy like this right here on this point. I hooked him for a second, but he just swirled on it, so who knows how big he was. When I lost earlier was a big spot. Catch, catching all these spots. I like to catch largemouth, but I'm close to the main lake, so I'm not surprised. A little spot. It's about the. There's lightning. No chance of rain today, guys. It was supposed to be a light chance, 30% chance at 7 and 8 o'clock tonight. Now all of a sudden, this pop up storm. I don't know if you've seen that giant lightning strike. Luckily, I'm close to the ramp. I ain't messing around with lightning. I'm going to go get back in the truck when the lightning comes through, but the rain might help the bite as long as it don't thunder too hard. But at least it's going to keep it cloudy so these fish will keep it in top water. Got it again. Got him that time. He's tiny. So I missed him the first time. And it's a freaking spot. Took my baton. Well, guys, rain is done. It's 1022. I think the rain's done, hopefully. It's been raining all morning. Luckily, the thunderstorms really just fell apart right before I got here but it rained all morning it really hurt my bite too I can't catch anything on top water right now then it's one of my first cast with the wacky rig I guess I gotta the sun comes out they'll get in the shade Not even that big. The female I was thinking about it earlier. He's bigger than he looked when I first seen him, but when he turns sideways, I know he's a decent little largey. He's peeing everywhere. I'm hoping the female will come up now. So I got him. Got him on the vigilante. Didn't even know he had it at first, so I seen him shaking his head, and then he dropped it and picked it up again when it was off the bed. This is a little guy. I mean, he's probably close to a pound and a half. The female's probably two and three quarters, but there was another pair. For some reason, another pair came swimming by, and one of them was like a four pounder, and the male was probably two pounds. It was for a second, there was four fish around one bed. It was very strange. I think they were just cruising looking for a bed. They're laying, he's on that bed, that fish and the female's already laid eggs and the female's looked at my bait twice, but she won't even bite it. I ain't seen her in the last two minutes either. Hopefully she comes back. I'm hoping since he got caught, she'll come and bite it. She was actually looking at the bed, but he went, I mean, looking at the bait, but he wouldn't let her even get close to it. He kept pushing her away. There's a fish. Freaking time. Well, I 
made to skip way back under that dock for this giant, giant largemouth. <sighs> Took off with it. I had a real one. Little tiny guy. It's the right species. I'm coming back here to the backs of these pockets, way off the main lake, where this little RV campground is, trying to trying to find some largemouth on beds or fry garters. I'm just going to target largemouth. I think I can sit on the main lake and fish docks in the sun and catch spots all day, but they won't be big. I'm definitely just trying to catch a couple of big fish. It's definitely past midday update. It's past 12. I'm hoping I can see some fish. It's kind of cloudy, but the sun's out. I'm hoping I can see some fish on beds, but last couple of pockets I've been to, I haven't seen any beds in. I've only seen one bed all day. But the, they're off beds. They should be garden fry. So I should, I'm trying to find one or the other. Fry garters or fish on beds. Come on, that tiny guy. They were way back. Way back under stuff. He was way up under there. But it's not big. He could be garden fry maybe. That last fish, the last couple of fish have been so small that I can't tell what they're doing. This guy could be garden fry. He definitely ain't on the bed. There's bluegill everywhere. There's bluegill on beds. There's bluegill to swim in tiny bluegill. I mean, these fish have got to be feeding on bluegills. Catching largemouth. I want to catch them on top waters. Last year there was a bunch of fish on this wall right here. There's one. Yeah. I don't know if it's garden fry or on a bed. Not swallowed it though. Yeah, he's almost a keeper size. Little stick bait baton, rapid wacky rig. I'll take him. Go on, guys. Oh, on the baton. Little tiny guy in the shade where he should be. I'm seeing some fry guards. There's one big one on the bed, but I spooked it, and he's not even locked down. Probably a three pounder, real skinny and long. No way it'll bite it. Won't even think about biting. <laughs> Little tiny large mouse. It's usually what you catch on a wacky rig with a random one will be gigantic. It's a tiny guy. <sighs> My drag was way too loose for some reason. There's a little guy. I was hoping it was the, the big fry garter I've seen over there. I mean a big fry garter over there. Just a little spot. Randomly. I'm about to just go in the wind and try to catch some spots on the main lake. Because I've been few and far between. I've just seen that big one garden fry, but I'm close to the main lake now. I went all the way to the backs of these pockets looking for beds. Only seen one bed and that fish wouldn't even lock down. Only a couple of fish garden fry either. It's... Spawn's about wrapped up. Another little guy. Ain't not that bad. Just coming at me. Spot. Not big though. Finally got one in the wind, but he might be on the bed way. His eyes are red and he was shallow. Well, he just threw up a gulp minnow. Little tiny gulp minnow. Finally something. And he ate it, ate it. He didn't swallow it, but it's down to the crushers. On the Kitek, 3.8 in the wind. That's not a bad fish, actually. Probably the second biggest fish of the day. It's been tough. To go back to the spotted bass stretch. I'm going to go back to this pocket, and that's probably going to be it for the day. 
This lake is full of tiny ones. Maybe it's a good sign that there's a bunch of tiny largemouth and they're little fat guys too. I mean, it looks like a little F1. There's no F1s in here. Little fat guy. Well guys, that was a day at Lake Hickory. Started out great. I mean, that's kind of how the chat spawn can be sometimes. Started out great. Got two good bites. Landed one nice one. One I lost was way smaller, luckily. But I mean, it was like a three pound spot. It would have been a nice one to have. But Lake Hickory's tough for me most of the time. There's some good sized fish in there. They're definitely bigger than Lake Norman, but this day it was just like a numbers day i caught a bunch of tiny non-keeper small ones i definitely need to have a full limit it was a tough day overall got a tournament coming up at lake norman on june 10th i've never really been on the kayak with all the crazy summer boaters out there on saturday i mean the wake boats are gonna be out so that's gonna be interesting gotta practice for that so i'm probably gonna have a lot of videos from norman coming up got some big bass on a frog video coming up soon too but thanks for watching we'll see you next time on nc bassin